this video on the transformation of exponential functions. By the end of this video, you should be able to use technology to graph an exponential function, identify key characteristics from the graph of an exponential function, and describe the transformations from the parent graph of an exponential equation. Okay, so in your notes packet, we're going to turn to the back of the third page. So where it says transformation of exponential function notes, right? So what we have here is we have a full exponential function that includes a bunch of transformations. What is inside this box was the parent graph, the initial exponential function that I showed you previously. And then you can see things are done coming off of there. That's going to help move your graph alone, around. So this should seem fairly similar to things that we've discussed previously with quadratics. So if your a value, so here's your a, if a is greater than one, your graph will stretch. And what that means in this case is it means it's going to grow faster than the parent graph. Okay. If your A value is between 0 and 1, the graph will shrink, which means it's going to grow slower. Okay. If there is a negative sign in front of the A, the A is separate from the negative sign. Remember back to our quadratics. If there's a negative sign, that means that your graph will be reflected. And if it's reflected, it is neither growth or de nor decay. So neither growth or decay. Okay, so we wouldn't call it growth or decay, we just call it neither in Algebra 1. Okay, your h value. So think back to quadratics. We had an h and a k when we talked about our quadratics in vertex form. If you have x minus h in your exponent, that means your graph is actually going to move to the right because it's x minus, so if there's a minus there, that was meaning it was minusing a positive number. So that means it's moving to the right. If it's x plus h, it would have been x minus a negative number. So that it's a negative number. So that means the graph is going to move to the left, <clears throat> just like in our quadratics, left and right. And our vertical shift is just like in quadratics, our k value on the end, that's our up and down. So if k is positive, the graph is going to move up. And if k is negative, the graph is going to move down. And that k value is your asymptote. So you'll write it y equals whatever k is. Okay, and we discovered that previously. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of examples here. So we're going to list all the transformations from this parent graph. So how is it different from this equation? So I always like to go left to right. So when I start, there's a 2 in the a spot. So remember, a is the first number, b is the number next to the exponent, although you don't always see a if a is 1. Like in this parent function, there's an understood 1 right in front of the 2. Okay, so remember b is always next to the exponent. So your a value is 2. 2 is greater than 1, which means we have a stretch. So we're going to say it's a stretch by 2. Then in the parentheses, we have a 3 compared to a 2. That's different. It's more than 1. We talked about that previously. That means it's a growth by 3. All right. Then I'm going to keep going. X, that has just an X in it and there's nothing else. So that's all that happened in that one. So we just want to compare this equation to the parent graph. I'll write it a little bit bigger since I wrote over the top of it. And how are they different? 
Okay, so this one has a three halves in front in the A spot. This one has a one in the A spot. Three halves is actually more than one. So when A is greater than one, we have a stretch. So we're going to say stretch by three halves. The two is in parentheses in the B position. Well, the B here is also two, so we're not going to talk about that. And I have x plus 1, but in the parent, it's just x. So this is a plus 1, so that means it's actually going to go left 1. And then we have a minus 2 in the k position. There is no k because really it's saying plus 0 off the end. So minus 2 would be down 2. Okay, well, let's try this again. Compare to the parent. The A is 2, the A in the parent is only a 1, so this is a stretch by 2. In the B position, we have 1 half, but here we have a 2. When it's less than 1, when your B value is less than 1 by 1, that becomes a decay. So decay by 1 half. Okay. Then I go into the exponent. The exponent is the same as the parent. Then we have a minus 3 off the end, so it's, the whole graph is going to end up moving down 3. That asymptote is going to move down. All right, what I want you to do is pause the video and try this last one on your own and come back when you're done. All right, in our last one, there's a negative sign out front. That means it's reflected. Then you remember you only look at the number, only look at the 2. The 2 is more than 1, so it's a stretch by 2. The 2 inside is the same. Your B values are both 2, so there's no difference there. We're not going to talk about that. This is x minus 5, so that means it's going to move right 5. And then plus 3 means it's going to go up 3. Okay, sometimes we make comparison to equations that are not the parent graph, and we just see how they're different. It works the exact same way. So look at this first example. So I'm giving you the original equation. How is this equation different from that equation? So when we look, their a's are both 1 because there's really an a value right there. But when it's 1, they don't write it in. Their b values are both 1 half. Their exponents are both the same. They're both x's, so nothing's changed there. The only difference is this plus 8 on the end. So the whole graph is going to move up 8 because that number on the end is your asymptote and it tells you you're up and down. Okay, same thing with number two. Let's compare them. Their A values are the same. Their B values are the same. The difference comes in in our exponent. The original is an X. This one is X plus seven. That means the whole graph is gonna move left seven, okay? There's a little bit more going on in the last one. I want you to pause the video and try it. Good. I always read them left to right and make the direct comparison. That's the easiest way. And then let's see what you get. All right, so let's take a look. So the A value here is 1, but there's 5. So that's more than 1, so that's a stretch by 5. The B values are the same. In the X, for the exponent, that's just an X. This is X minus 3, so that means it's moving right 3. And this has no number added or subtracted to the end. It's really just plus zero. This has a plus two, so it's going to move up two. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in class.